guys, what's up? Dev here, and I'm going to be showing you the Minecraft 5.0 update. So, first off, you can notice you've got your health bar in the top left area. So that's, I think, because they're going to be adding armor in the next update. And that, that, I guess, think that'll go in the top right. And then, melon seeds. Which means you get melons, as you can guess. So you just destroy your little melon block, and you get so much melons. And then these things will just regrow it. So you only need one melon seed, anyway. And then, you got, um, <laughs> this. This is the result of a failed nether. Well, okay, it's pretty cool. So what you do is you came in here, hit this, it activates the nether reactor, and then, like, your whole world turns black, and it, this goes red. But here you'll have gold, and I'll show you how to make it later. Um, this goes red, everything, and then this turns into obsidian. You got a little while to collect all the stuff it spits out, like melon seeds, sugarcane, cactuses, a bunch of stuff. Gold blocks. Glowstone, actually, too. So that's added. Then also, but what happened after you come out is it solidifies back into your normal world, and you have this. Yeah. And I can't just go back in the nether, because something's, I guess, messed up, I think, about it. Anyway. And then here, you can see we have paintings. It's awesome amazing looking paintings. I'm so glad they added those in Pop Edition. They look really cool. And there's like probably 30 different choices of paintings you can have. You don't get to choose, but you can just destroy the painting if you don't like it and then put it back down, place it. To, um, yeah. To, <laughs> to get a new painting. Sorry. Yeah, it's like you can see, it's already regrown over there into a new melon. Okay, so it's turning nighttime, and I'll show you something else. They added, because before you could just commit suicide and you'd be good to go for health. So what they added now is beds restore health. I'm going to see how much health they restore. I know they restore at least three, but I'm not sure. I'm guessing it's full that they restore. We'll see, though. I'm gonna go to five blocks or five hearts box. Actually, I'll go one more time. I'm waiting. All right, so that it means we have five hearts missing, and we will see if that adds up to if it lets me five times. Okay, apparently there's monsters nearby. Let's go kill them so we can sleep, and I can show you that. Oh, there he is. Hello. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah, and they added leave bed, so you just press it and you pop back up. But, oh my gosh, I should not have done that. What is there now? Um... I do not see the monster. Sorry, I had to move rooms real quick. I do not see the monster that's out here. Where are you? Come out. Because I want to sleep. Okay, there we go. So, we'll see how much health it restores. Full hearts. That's good. Very good. Also, I'm going to show you how much they added food now does double the amount of health restoration that it used to, or even more in some cases. Alright, so I'm missing four hearts, and before, bread would only restore one. 
It restores two and a half, which is awesome. And then pork chops restore three. Bam. So that's awesome. Okay, also they added, they took away the fog, or at least fixed part of it, and added animals respawning in your worlds after you kill them all. And then there's zombie pigmen in the nether. So that's about all it's included in the update. I'm going to release a video on how to build a nether reactor. Um, so yes. So watch my next video to, on how, build it, how to build another reactor. Please like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.